Hey guys, the Trout91 here. Welcome back to my custom class guide. And I want to thank uh, my respect for the new layout. It is absolutely gorgeous. Please, everyone go check out his channel. It's in the description. Tell him what a great job he did. And today we are doing the Scar H. Now, this is an interesting gun. It's got a very, very high amount of power. It's got a small clip size, low ammo, low recoil, and quite decent iron sights, I would say. And it has a longer reload animation than most guns, and I think the best sidearms to use with it are the handguns or the shotguns for that reason. Now the extended mags are really crucial with this gun. There's so Because of its small clip size, it really, really is not the greatest practical gun for getting multi-kills as you'll see in this little clip here. It's got such a high power, as you saw, it took very little bullets to kill them, but ultimately you're going to run out of bullets by the time you get going. So I strongly recommend having Scavenger for the simple fact you waste ammo so quickly. Uh, it's definitely one to consider, considering it's got such a low amount of ammo. Stopping power as well is what really makes this gun shine. It can do without, but I strongly recommend having these combinations on. For the simple fact you'll see in this clip, pretty much drops people in a few seconds. And extended mags is really crucial, I feel. For the simple fact that it's not not the greatest multi-killer, but with extended mags and stopping power, you're pretty much gonna rape face. So you haven't got you've got more consistency with your gun. Ninja Pro is what I always pick with my third perk, so there's nothing new there. Now the first alternative class I like to use is sleight of hand and hardline, which is a great way to get your hardline challenges done, and it's one I like to use at the start and the slight hand stopping power with the ACOG. Now, the, the Scar H, because of its power, as I've told you before, and the low recoil means that it's actually a very good sniper class, so to speak. If you want to challenge yourself, you can use the thermal scope. It is quite beneficial at times. But the ACOG is very accurate on this game, and with the Scar H, it can be a deadly combination, I will say. You just gotta be careful because sleight of hand is fairly necessary to scope in as quickly as possible since it does take time. But you run through ammo, so it's a dilemma there. It's up to you what you do. So I hope I've given you some insight onto the Scar H, and I will see you for the next one, which will be the Tar 21. Peace out.